This is a very interesting section, and we really have to think what did Beethoven want to convey here uh, by making these sforzandos uh, so uh, sort of unpredictable. As if, as if he's trying to shake something off of him. Imagine you have, you have um, somebody on your shoulder and you just want to go like this all the time. So you have to feel every time there is this Sforzando is a little bit of... <laughs> okay? Yes, now with the left hand, where with? But the importance of this left hand, it's what keeps it together. Otherwise, we don't have anything to ground this feeling. This keeps it in check, keeps it organized. Otherwise, so whatever you do in the right hand, you have to keep the left hand very steady. I can't. Yeah, I can't have. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, that's the idea, but now I, I'm, I'm, I'm somehow getting too much. Because it's a part of a larger plan. So don't give too much at first. Bring the left hand in. Yes, but this has this has to be colossal, big. Look at this, look at this distance between the hands. It's crazy. This was Beethoven's keyboard. It wasn't this, it was smaller. He is at the edge of it. He's pushing. So when he, you when you reach uh absolutely at the edge of the sound level of his piano and the uh, distance of his piano. So please let's go from maybe from yes 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 but not so Immediately, you have to give it to the right hand. So, yes. Not yet, not yet. Just crescendo, just crescendo. Yes, yes, yes. But we go back to, to rhetoric. We go back to, to the language. Uh, yes. Ta 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 ta.